Welcome to Okami Sigma. This is Sensei Julius Ochoa, and we're back again for our uh, video series for Bodhisattva Kuan Yin mantras. So we're gonna break down one by one the uh, mantras uh, translated in Chinese, English, and Sanskrit. So this is our video for today. Please. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and follow us on our social media. On this video, we're going to discuss the benefits of chanting Omani Padme Hom, which is the mantra of Guanxin Bodhisattva. Now, the mantra of Omani Padme Hom. Uh, this is called the Chen Rei Sig Mantra, okay? the source of six great uh, character of brightness mantra. Okay, so these are six syllables of mantra of the Bodhisattva Kuan Yin, okay? which is found in the Karan Davyuha Sutra. Okay, uh, Buddha speaks Mahayana Sublime, Tre Sublime Treasure King Sutra. All right. So in this sutra, uh, Shakyamin, Shakyamuni Buddha, okay, the first Buddha, said that uh, the sixth great character of brightness mantra, uh, which is uh, the six syllable mantra of Bodhisattva is the great Avalo Kites Vara Mahasattva Bodhisattva's profound essence. Okay, so what's the benefit of knowing this mantra? Okay, knowing this mantra is like uh, uh, having Quan Chi Yin's profound essence, and her profound essence is to attain. Uh, liberation okay so when you uh, chant this mantra you pay homage uh, to the one who holds the precious lotus flower in order to eliminate afflictions so this mantra uh, which is uh, remains very relevant today because this mantra was uh, created in a time which is very tumultuous, uh, war-torn countries in China, uh, warring kingdoms. Uh, actually, the king, which is uh, Bodhisattva Huan Yin's father, was the one uh, doing the conquest uh, in their country back then. Like today, in our current events, uh, this year of 2024, uh, this is actually uh, a very crucial year uh, wherein this mantra would be very beneficial if everyone would chant this mantra. Why? To this year, 2024, is a year wherein this mantra is very relevant. And the reason why I, I'm bringing up this mantra and trying to uh, help uh, you guys to understand it and uh, uh, teach it to you guys uh, is because uh, 2024, this year, we're experiencing the, uh, uh, the aftermaths of all of the uh, geopolitical problems that uh, the world is facing right now wherein a lot of wars are starting to emerge uh, with the growing uh, well actually uh, the idea right now is we're in uh, the precipice or the start of World War 3 okay which is like the uh, imminent collapse of the uh, world power 
which is the United States of America, and the emergence of uh, a new world order. Now, why am I saying this? Uh, because uh, this mantra is relevant uh, to alleviate the hardships of uh, uh, human beings, especially during times of war. Uh, right now, we're in the uh, age of the Kali Yuga, uh, in the uh, Vedic uh, tradition, time runs in cycles wherein uh, it is repeated. So in different cycles, the, there are different energies for each cycle. Right now, we're uh, still in the Kali Yuga uh, cycle wherein uh, there are a lot of uh, wars and uh, famine, hardships, dishonesty, uh, lack of leadership. So this is the time that uh, we're living in. And this mantra is very relevant to help us uh, alleviate that particular energy. And hopefully, um, as we transition from the Kali Yuga into uh, the Golden Age, which is Satya Yuga, wherein divine beings are walking again on the earth, okay? So right now, suffice to say, uh, um, I have to be direct that right now, the world that we're living in, this yuga, is a world wherein we are ruled by demonic forces and uh, uh, corrupt leaders and people who are influenced by uh, demonic energies. And to combat that, we need to uh, be able to have the spiritual tools uh, that would allow us to navigate these uh, troublesome waters of uh, these demonic influence and uh, the rule of demonic leaders. Uh, a lot of you who are still who are still trapped in the system. Uh, of uh, whether it's system of government, education, uh, health system. These systems are currently uh, influenced by demonic forces, unfortunately, in whole honesty. And a lot of us are unaware about this system that is currently running our societies and its uh, ill effects to the human condition or the human being okay as as human beings we have um, we have our needs whether it's physical mental emotional and or spiritual needs we have these needs and because of the ruling and because our government systems that uh, are running our society right now is under demonic rule, uh, especially with the influence of religion and the entire structure which was built on lies, false history. Uh, this is now uh, coming into light wherein we are being shown what our current social structures are in with these uh, demonic rulers and uh, demonic influences. So the energy of the Asuras or the, uh, the not so divine uh, beings that are walking on earth is currently running our societies. That's the harsh truth. That's the red pill that we're going to have to swallow. And in order to combat these energies, we need spiritual tools such as uh, these mantras uh, to put us in a uh, place of uh, empowerment. And that's the reason why I'm trying to share this information, uh, this uh, spiritual process to you guys, our viewers, which is very, very important. Um, uh, this is the first path to receive uh, direct bestowals from Bodhisattva Guan Yin uh, to purify our body, speech, and mind. 
particularly uh, suitable for our modern life. Uh, we can't be caught up in the uh, the so-called busy, uh, the busyness of uh, life. Why? Because it's a trick. It's a trick for human beings to be enslaved, uh, which is done in a manner of codependency to authorities and governments and uh, institutions that have no actual interest in uplifting or doing good for humanity. So at, while you are so busy with all of these systems that are implemented, you are losing the essence of what it is to be a human being living on planet Earth. So it's very crucial that we go back to the path wherein our priority is not money, our priority is our humanity and the well-being and welfare of our brothers and sisters, our family, our community. So this is something that we need right now because otherwise our society would be in the brink of collapse and we need to implement changes to our systems wherein it's for humanity, not for money, greed, and power of a few people who are running this planet. Okay, so the essence which is uh, the Buddhist teaching, okay, remember we have to decouple from the religious categories that was uh, imposed upon the uh, sacred teachings of our ancient ancestors. Okay, the training provided, the mental training provided by uh, the sages uh, of the ancients, the bodhisattvas of the ancient world, is still relevant to most especially today. So as we chant Omani Padme Hom, uh, it is easy to recite, it is easy to remember, but a big part of its impact is in the entirety of our being. So this is just one of the steps. There are many ways to climb a mountain, as they say. So there are many ways to boost your spiritual power and alleviate you from suffering. Okay? So, in the process of uh, learning to chant this mantra, it tames negative emotions. Okay, you're able to develop compassion within you. Okay, so the voice of uh, the masters or our ancient ancestors will help you meditate. Okay, so this mantra acts as a voice. Of those who mastered themselves and is imparting this uh, wisdom to us in this modern time so that our mind and our karma or our actions will be an ocean of uh, good karma okay so as we do this practice we are planting good karma good seeds why the vibration and frequency that we are channeling or what, what we are putting into ourselves through our vocalization or verbal uh, verbal karma or verbal actions is planting good karma into ourselves and our current environment, okay, which we badly need during this time. And the very reason why we need to do this is so that we'll be able to ascend ourselves 
to be aware of the world that we are living in and transmute these energies that are harmful to us into good karma. Of course, it's not limited to just chanting or uh, changing your vibration. You have to couple it with good actions. Good actions that will help yourself. Good actions uh, that would help your community. Okay? So these good actions will go a long way. Uh, and little by little, it will change you, your environment, and once that happens, uh, drop by drop, our society can improve uh, little by little, okay? It may not be instantaneous, but if a lot of us uh, practice uh, these higher level of uh, way of living, then eventually, hopefully, uh, our society changes in a way wherein the structures and institutions are moving towards the benefit of humanity and our planet. Now, you have to remember every single individual counts okay your votes don't count <laughs> politically your votes don't count basically it's a it's a scam this this whole voting thing however your spiritual energy if you operate in a divine energy that one really counts it not only elevates your personal power but it also elevates the planet's energy so by shifting from a negative state into a positive state, we're able to help not only ourselves, we're able to also help our planet. Remember, our planet Earth, Mother Gaia, if you're not aware, she is alive. Our planet is a living entity, okay? She is alive and breathing. All of us under her care, uh, are here sharing the same energies as hers okay so might as well share positive energy okay i hope you learned a lot from this tutorial again this is your sensei julius ochoa from okami sigma universe thank you for watching